I just wanted to make a quick video telling you guys about this just in case you own a nightclub or MC businesses. Rockstar stated on the Newswire today that MC payouts have been increased and the safe capacity at your nightclubs has also been increased. So I'm really quickly just going to be telling you guys by how much. Well, to make things short and sweet, MC payouts have been increased by 20%, and the nightclub safe has been increased from $70,000 to $210,000, which is honestly pretty great. The MC payouts, some of them are decent and some of them aren't. I'm quickly going to go over them with you guys right now. And by the way, these are the payouts for a fully maxed out business, plus you're also selling remote. So, the document forgery office used to pay out 126 grand, it now pays out $157,000, which is pretty decent. It's still the worst MC business though. The weed farm used to pay out $252,000, but it now pays out $302,000. The counterfeit cash factory used to pay out $294,000, but it now pays $352,000. The meth lab used to pay $357,000, but it now pays $428,000, and the cocaine lockup used to pay out $420,000, and it now pays out $504,000. The three best MC businesses to own are obviously the coke, meth, and cash factory. They will make you the most amount of money, but let's say that you guys wanted to combine them all and take a look at the profits you would make per hour before you would be making $328,625 per hour. Now, you're making $394,350 per hour. Like I said, it's only a 20% increase. It's really not super substantial. They obviously weren't going to make it amazing. They weren't going to make it the next Cow Perico heist or anything like that. They knew it was the worst way to make money in the game, and we had to spend tons of money in order to just make 330 k per hour, and still, the profits are not that great. If you do own MC businesses or you're considering purchasing them, the only ones I would ever recommend, even before the price increase, is going going to be the coke lockup, the meth lab, and the counterfeit cash factory, because they still will make you a decent amount of money. It will still take you a fairly long time to break even in the end game, just because, you know, it costs a lot of money to upgrade these three businesses, and the profit you're making from all three of them combined is not that great. But it is better than before, like I said, a 20% increase. And then really quickly talking about the nightclub, obviously you guys are going to be making money from popularity. The real bonus for having $210,000 as your safe capacity compared to $70,000 is you don't have to go there to collect it as much, especially if your popularity is through the roof, you're going to be making a ton of money from it. So now you're just not going to have to go there as often to collect your profits, which in my opinion is a good thing because that gives you time to do other stuff around the city instead of having to keep going back and forth between what you're doing and then to your nightclub to collect the money. Anyways, I just wanted to make this quick video letting you guys know about the profit increase and the capacity increase at your nightclub in GTA 5. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.